how to check your computer for memory problems using Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to the search box and you want to left click on it. Once you've done that you want to type memory. In the search results the best match should be Windows Memory Diagnostic App. You want to navigate to the right hand side here and left click on Open to open up the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. Once you've done that, Windows Memory Diagnostic will then open and it says, check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. You have two options here. The first option is to restart now and check for problems. This is recommended by Windows. Save your work and close any open programs before restarting. The second option is to check for problems the next time I start my computer. For today's video, we're going to be running option one and we're going to be restarting now and checking for problems right now as soon as possible. Now, because my computer is going to restart, I'm unable to record going forward. However, I'll include a screenshot and I'll run you through what exactly is going on once your device has been restarted and the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool begins running and checking your system for memory problems. I also want to add that you need to save your work and close any open programs before restarting. So make sure you do that before actually restarting now. So I'm just going to stop recording now and then in the next clip, I'll take you through. All right guys, once your computer has rebooted and Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool has restarted, you should see a blue screen that looks similar to this. Now this is actually a capture using my smartphone of my screen as I am unable to record when the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool is running. I'm now going to quickly run through the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. So it says Windows is checking for memory problems. This might take minutes. Running test pass one of two, 27% complete. This is just a capture in time of Windows Memory Diagnostics tool progress at that time. Overall test status, 13% complete. Status, no problems have been detected. And this is stated in yellow by the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. If there are problems, it will be mentioned in the status area here. However, you don't actually need to watch the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool as once it completes and your computer reboots, you'll receive a notification giving you the final results and conclusion of the diagnosis from running the Windows Memory Diagnostics tool. Underneath it says, although the test may appear inactive at times, it is still running. Please wait until testing is complete. Windows will restart the computer automatically. Test results will be displayed again after you log on. Hopefully that gives you some peace of mind so you won't be staring at the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool while it's running. All right guys, once the overall test status reaches 100% complete, your computer will then reboot. In the next clip, you should see my computer fully rebooted and on the desktop. Once Windows Memory Diagnostic has completed, your computer will reboot. Once rebooted, please wait and you'll receive a notification at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And there we go guys, it has now popped up and as you can see it reads Windows Memory Diagnostic, no memory errors were detected and then it will quickly disappear. This is a great diagnosis for my computer as no memory errors were detected and no action is necessary. However, if there were issues with your RAM, then the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool will notify you in this notification. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to check your computer for memory problems using Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so